Hello, I'm Maxwell Johnson, and welcome to Kingdom Kids, where we highlight young entrepreneurs and their growing businesses. Today, we're joined by Chef Derek, and he's going to tell us all about his cooking business. So, Derek, tell us about your business. So my business is called Cooking with Derek, and you kind of cook with me, and it's mainly you cook sweets and you get to take them home. Yeah. So, what kind of uh, people are you cooking for? I'm cooking for young kids who just want to cook and I also give them recipes just in case they want to try it at home with their parents. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. So are you kind of like teaching them how to cook? Yeah, kind of. Sounds like a really important skill. Um, how old were you when you started this business? I started this business when I was 10 because I really like cooking and I went to a cooking class so yeah. Uh, what's some goals you hope to achieve? Some goals I hope to achieve is to make uh, more kids come and to make them smile and happy when they come. Sounds great. Um, and who manages your finances? Um, it is mostly my mom. She, uh, she's the person who kind of uh, who kind of runs like the background of the business. Like she kind of puts stuff in the oven. So she's kind of like my assistant. Is there anyone else who helps out with it? Um, my aunt, my sister, she's the assistant that kind of helps me put stuff. Like she kind of helps me with like mixtures and stuff like that. So yeah. And uh, what would you, what advice would you give to a, a kid wanting to start their own business? Uh, first things first, if you do want to start your own business, you want to think about what you want to do first. And second of all, you have to put some effort into that. Save. Uh, and when did you know that you wanted to do this? Or when did you uh, first have a passion for cooking? I kind of first had my passion for cooking because because kind of at home, we have like cake mixes and brownie mixes that we kind of buy. And I used to love baking those. And so then I started using recipes and then it, it all kind of started when I was like 10-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you're young, so you go to school. Um, how do you manage your schedule? Uh, uh, like I kind of wake up, I go to school, it's kind of like NTI now. Um, I do my homework, and then after that, I try to learn the best that you know that, uh, of the best that I know about the cook, well, like the recipe. But like I try to learn how to do it, and so then I won't get all confused while I'm making it. Mm -hmm. um, if you could start your business over again, what's something that you would do differently? Uh, something that I would do differently, I would say, is to try to pick like a different place for me to go and cook stuff at. And, uh, and another thing is, you know, like try to get more people to be hyped about the business in the end. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, let more people know about your business? Uh, uh, on our social medias. Uh, and from family members and stuff like that, they kind of also tell um, other people, like friends and family, like they all kind of tell each other about the business. Uh -huh. uh, so what helps you come up with more ideas and inspiration for your business? So I kind of look up stuff about the business. Like I kind of look up what type of stuff I should use, uh, what some stuff that you don't need, mixers, or it's like not that hard or can reach into our time limit that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your time limit exactly? It's about an hour or an hour and 30 minutes-ish. And is it all virtual? Uh, you can do it, um, I think we're trying to work on virtual, but it's mainly in person. Uh, what's your greatest achievement when it comes to your business? Uh, one of the greatest achievements is I think one of my big cooking glasses, which was, which was like, it was kind of towards like Halloween. And it was like a really fun one because 
they got to paint pumpkins, and they also got to make like like a pizza roll type mm. of pumpkin. And sounds good. Uh, what's something that you are worried that could happen? Uh, something I'm worried about about that can happen is that the stuff can get burnt, and they can't take it home to their family and friends, and you know can like show it off. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you're uh, teaching these kids, how do you, how does your kind of, uh, how does it work? Like, what exactly do, uh, what exactly do you do? So, like, uh, what exactly do I do is I kind of first, like, I kind of first introduce myself, and then after that, I kind of show them the ingredients and stuff like that, and then I go by order of, of the way I show them how to make it. And uh, do you like shopping for new foods? I kind of do, because I kind of like spending my money, so. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, what's something that you really want to make that you haven't yet? Um, something that I really do want to make, it's kind of like cheesecake, but that does not fit into our time limit, so I'm trying to see if we can make like a shorter version of that, so. And, uh, where, how would you want to expand your business? Like where, where do you hope that it'll take you? Uh, the way that I want to expand it is to get new, like to get a new building for us to work at and to get like a, uh, to get like many times. And so then, it's so like uh, if you miss like one class, you can come to another. So it won't just fit into one person's time. Mm -hmm. Um, if I wanted to sign up for one of your classes, how would I do so? Uh, you have to go to my website, cookingwithderek.com. Okay. Maybe I'll try, some, maybe, maybe I'll, uh, try that one day. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break. Hi, good people. I'm Karen McKnight, and I'm host of the program, Lord's Temple Fitness. On the program where we will practice yoga, meditation and breathing techniques so we can tap into the body's own natural healing abilities so that we really can feel better and I can teach you how so be sure to join us every week right here or on demand at ssclivetv.com SSC Live TV it's TV out Hi, it's Derek from Cooking with Derek, and today we will teach you how to make soft baked pretzels. So, so first you will need flour, which is three, three cups, but you can use how much you want to, because it all matters how soft it is. One teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of butter, well, melted butter, one teaspoon of sugar, four teaspoons of baking soda, one egg, uh, two, three bowls, um, and yeah. Oh yeah, it's an active, uh, it's some active dry yeast with some water. So first, uh, first thing that you wanna do is you want to get two cups of water, and, and one packet of active dry yeast. And, and you wanna make sure you mix this until the yeast is all disappeared. After that, you wanna add sugar, salt, and the butter. And you wanna mix that all up. And then after that, you wanna add the two or three cups of flour. Then after that, you wanna mix that up really well and then after you mix it up really well, it should be not rough, but also not really that sticky. And after that, it should look like this. This is, this is some bread that has been resting for 15 minutes after we have kneaded it together and, and, and we've worked on it. So, first thing, Want to do after that? It may like it may be sticky, 
so you do want to add some flour to it if it is sticky if it's not sticky uh, I'll tell you how to make it into the pretzel which which should take you like a couple minutes if you're struggling but but it should be a nice pretzel that should be brown if you dip it in the baking soda water and the egg wash and after that you want to make the pretzel so first you want to roll this out until it hits a very very long long stick or string or line so and, and so then after that or or also you can rip this into many pieces if you don't want just one big pretzel like how I want about like three pretzels because I like now first I want to make a very long line and you can make it as long as the as long as the end of your hands and so after that you want to make it into a very long line then after that you want to make a u-shape then after you make the u-shape you want to twist it and then after that you want to put it down and so then after that it can be a pretzel but that was not the best best pretzel that I've ever done so um so so like you can twist it once or twice at the top if you want to but I like to twist it twice and so it can be extra tight while while it is baking or while it is in any shape so what's next is you want to dip your pretzel into the baking soda water then after that you want to uh, if you do have a brush or or if you have a spoon you can easily brush the egg wash on top of there which which was egg wash it's just regular egg cracking into a bowl and you mix it up and then you want to put that on top of there and you want to kick and then you want to cook it for like 15 minutes which is the exact same time that it rested for and it should look like this at the end it uh these are fresh pretzels and and you can also have cheese if you want to but then after they're out you have to put butter and salt on them and that is so they can be nice and salty on the outside and this is how you cook a soft baked pretzel i'd like to thank chef derek for that uh, great demonstration and thank you for watching and we'll see you next week on kingdom kids and always remember to wear your crown